And here we have, here we have the, uh, the green lobes, so we have the positive. And in both cases, this means it's a bonding interaction. So we see that thermal electrocyclic reactions of these molecules on the thermal conditions, the disrotation leads to bonding while the conrotation does not. For the photochemical case, the disrotation does not lead to bonding, but this does lead to bonding. So the main point from this lecture is to show you that not always does thermal electrocyclic reaction take place via the conrotatory fashion. Sometimes it takes place via disrotation for this case, but for example, for 1,3-cyclobutadiene, it takes place via the con rotation so to determine which type of rotation it is you really have to try to analyze the orbitals and see how the orbitals have to rotate how the highest occupied molecular orbital has to rotate to actually form that sigma bond